Alexander III was born in 1241, and upon the death of his father, he became King of Scots in 1249. His reign was long, in a time of relative peace and prosperity. In 1251, Alexander married Margaret of England, daughter of King Henry III. Henry attempted to demand the Kingdom of Scotland pay homage to him, but Alexander refused. Alexander had three children by Margaret. Margaret, Alexander and David. All three would die before their father. Margaret of England died in 1275. Eventually, Alexander had to seek a second wife and marry Yolande de Drew in 1285. Alexander was over 40 years old by that point, but was still expected to reign for many more years. It was hoped that his second marriage would produce a much needed heir. Tragedy struck in 1286 when Alexander, determined to visit his new young queen in Fife, disappeared after setting off from Edinburgh on horseback at night. Alexander was found dead on the shore the next morning, his neck broken. Some accounts believe he fell from his horse down a steep rocky embankment. Queen Yolande was thought to be pregnant but no baby was born. The Scots now had to look to other parts of Alexander's family tree. So who was next in line for the Scottish throne? Listen next week to find out. But first, let's find out what you remember about the life and death of Alexander III.